evening. Good evening, good evening. There we go, that's a bit better. Good evening to anyone who's watching. As usual, I'll give it a minute or two just to get people coming into uh, play to get settled. And we'll crack on with the roundup of the week's results. Latest league tables, DC, you've got this. Seen your mile time as well, DC, good effort that. Uh, got seven people watching. Glyn Broadhurst, hello Glyn. You're in good form at the moment, keep it going mate. Good to see. Uh, 11 now, double figures. Probably wait till we get to 20, then we'll crack on. The reason I brought this forward slightly tonight is um, I've got a pub quiz with um, Paul Grubb and others, so that starts at 8. And I'll try and I like, I like, I haven't done one for a bit, but I like the good fun. So, and the noise I've got is this uh, is Rory's bouncing jumper thing I'm resting my feet on. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. You're good to uh, have you on board. Uh, up to 16 people now. Not long now, so we've got a lot of PBs to report, which is excellent to see. Uh, probably a bit easier to get a 5k, 5 mile PB than a 5k PB, just because that you haven't got the volume of races in 5 mile that you perhaps have at 5k, especially with part run coming over the 5k distance. So, but nonetheless, a PB is a PB, and to do a PB in this context, I, th I think deserves particular credit because uh, it's, it's hard at the moment for lots of people for lots of different reasons and whatnot I've had a bit of a down day really and I shouldn't do because really my situation is absolutely fine compared to the vast majority of people out there but you know we just have days where things you know don't you know, you know just unsettled and whatnot but anyway I'll, I'll get there I'm sure and um, I've done my highest mileage week I think for quite some time now about 40 miles a uh, bit out every day it's probably helps to have any rest days uh, but I was knocking myself out after having to self-isolate for a week, the week prior. So, uh, yeah, back in the groove. Um, this week was five miles. This week coming up is one mile. So it's a bit of a rest week because whilst one mile is a tough and challenging um, burst of speed, you've not got to be, you know, you, you do recover very quickly from it. So uh, it, it's probably a bit easier for people if you want a bit of a, a down week just to sort of recover. But you've all got your own training programmes and schedules and goals etc so uh, there you go and i suppose the running situation might be changing a little bit too as well i know i know there's budget training starting again on tuesday if we get locked down again about two days later um but yeah um the days of going out in little pods and motivating one of them might be uh of, might have come to an end uh in the immediate future so you might have to sort of like learn how to sort of run on your own or with one other rather than lots but yeah, I'll leave it up to you. Just stay safe, that's the main thing. And there's obviously the, the, the more people can adhere to the rules, I guess, the quicker we can be back to some sort of uh, normality, etc. And people who are earning a living from this sort of thing, are having to shut their business for the, for the next couple of weeks, um, they can get back and start in some, you know, to earn some money again. It must be devastating if you're in that situation. I do, my, you know, my heart goes out to you. So I'm lucky, really. I've, I've still got my job and um, got a you know, good family and touch wood, still got my health. So, uh, so I haven't really got any reason to be uh, you know, despondent compared to other people's lots. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Hello, uh, Cheryl Jewis. Good to see you. And also Vicky. And hello, Maggie as well. Thanks, Evan, Norman, Cook, Gavin. Um, and, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> there you go. Um, hope you're feeling uh, back and ready to go next week, mate. Um, 27 people, so we'll, we'll kick off now. There might be a few people watching Strictly. Uh, God knows why. Um, we have the results of this week's race. We've got PBs to report. And we've got updated league tables. I will circulate them later. It might well be tomorrow, I think. I want to do that because I'm in this pub quiz um, shortly after, which I'm looking forward to. And if anyone's not done one before, um, well, they're worth doing. You've got to be a member of the Grub and Lettuce uh, Facebook group. Um, Paul Grub does them with his uh, daughter and wife helping out, and um, they're excellent fun for anyone who's into pub quizzes. Uh, I've probably just done myself out of about 10 places now because a load of you all sign up and I'll get push down the pecking order hello from the usa we have our first overseas viewer angela good to have you on board angela well done for your run this week although you will get to mention a little bit later because you're one of the star performers as it were right uh five mile distance 
I was pleased to report that I didn't see any evidence of um, excess downhill running this week. We just had one penalty to levy, which, well, it wasn't a penalty to levy, it's just we, we picked somebody's elapsed time up, which was a couple of minutes different to the actual um, declared time. And so that person has got their elapsed time as their given time. Because um, we have been warned, well, we, you have been warned, uh, you know what the crack is. So if you had a breather halfway around, that's fine. Just get a, you know, a more disappointing time. Um, and if you forgot to stop your watch at the end and you had like two minutes at the end, well, that's just tough. <laughs> you know what you've got to do. <laughs> you've got to do much. Start at the start, finish it at the end. It's easy. Anyway, um, let's go through some um, teams. Um, in no particular order, um, Hannah Craig's team, who were top of the league as of last week, um, their star performer was Dave Jenkinson, who had a, well, I think that most people performed pretty well in Hannah's team, but the standout runner was Dave Jenkinson this week. He had a, he had a good run in terms of uh, how it compared against his handicap. Um, in Dave Jackson's team, Queen Mother Blue, there was a number of impressive performances. Kerry Clover, who got a PB, uh, so then she ran 40... 41.32 it says here and um, Graham Engley had a good run as well well done Graham and particularly Aaron Chetwind um, who broke Ryan Bennett's five mile club record by one second uh, which is just incredible really because um, that club record is pretty good I was <laughs> I was in the same race when Bennett set it and it was at uh, the Joy Can 5 about two, 18 months ago I think it was now roughly and there's four of us all came, well, I say came in together, but it was about 20 seconds in front of everybody else. But uh, yeah, we were flying around that day. Um, and we won the men's team prize as a result. Um, but it's always easier in a race, I think, because you've got someone to, to carry you along. I remember running behind Danny Warren thinking, just, I knew I couldn't catch him up because he was just too, he had too much for me. But I thought, just stay with him, just stay with him as long as you can and you, you'll be in for a good time here. And I was. Um, but Aaron's done this on his own with no one to chase, no one going out there faster than him, he's just done it, he's time trialled it, and to do that and crack that time, well, fantastic, really, really good running. Um, his time was 27.41, if anyone's interested. Um, in Maggie Savin Barden's team, the captain herself was leading by example, um, our brilliant Aiken Boffin, she was one of our, uh, her team's top performers, as was SJ, uh, so the Chetman family there, both having a great week in the five mile race. Um, Robert Boland had standout performers in T-Dog and Averill Williams. Um, Adam, his team um, had some particularly good performances also. Mick Bailey, after a great week last week, has backed it up again with another really good week this week, so that's particularly impressive. Uh, Neil Clemens, another, he had a great run. And Rich Boyd, uh, who's new, he's, uh, he's finding his feet now and he's, he's put another good, good show in. Uh, Gavin's standout person was Nicola Stanley yet again. She's had a, having a cracking, a cracking campaign so far, um, and I think that was a PB. She ran forty three forty three, uh, which yes, it is a PB. It's confirmed. Uh, Nikki Bowman again, excellent team performance across every person in her team. Um, Merv Jones, I think, stood out as did Dave McGowan. He had a really good run. Uh, I think he took a strong segment off me as well in the process. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Um, and uh, Vicky Smith is another one in her team that was uh, exceptional. Um, Steph White had a host of good performances this week, um, hauling her off the bottom of the uh, or the lower reaches of the table. Um, Vicky London and Vicky Jennings both had great runs. Angela Stannins, who we just mentioned, she had an excellent run. Justin Hayward, uh, coming through his overseas or not, he's back in town. I think he's still in Portugal, but he, he ran particularly well. And Judy Parks was another one who uh, had a great uh, great performance. So some. Uh, some good ones there. Nikki Bowman actually says, you've heard it from me first, she says, uh, you, you're going to win it. Well, we're going to win it. And Paul Grump has laughed. Well, you can say, I don't know why I'm saying this, because you can all read it in the comments on the side of the thing anyway. I just thought it might be entertaining banter. Um, Stefan, going to watch on Catch Up. Well, there you go. Second to Strictly Come Dancing. Never mind. And uh, also, unaffiliated, Anne-Marie Matthews. She had an excellent run. She was uh, back in action, and she will make the top 20, I've got no doubt whatsoever with her, her performance to, to target. So, uh, yeah, um, in terms of the um, race overall, um, obviously Aaron was the fastest one out there with that time. No one's ever gone faster in the club. 
um, in absolute terms, but in terms of the race that we're doing with the handicap system, our winner was Ashley T-Dog Taylor. So well done, T-Dog. Good work. And second was Mick Bailey. So I think we've had, I think we've had two lady winners in the first two rounds, and then this is our first male winner. Um, the interesting thing with T-Dog and Mick was that their times, um, in terms of pace per mile, they ran the five mile quicker than they did their 5k, um, which either means that they weren't running very well in the 5k, or as I suspect, possibly in mixed case particularly, um, it takes a little while to get going, but when they get going, they you know, they can keep going. Uh, I've found as I've got a bit older, it takes me a couple of miles to get into my stride and get warmed up, so if I go out on any run, one of my first, first and second miles are normally quite poor, even if I'm making a big effort um, to try and get that average pace up. Um, but once I've got a couple of miles under my belt, I then start to run at a quicker pace, putting less effort into it. And that might well be the case with Mick. But yeah, if it is Mick, let us know. Uh, I'd be fascinated to hear that information and we can relay it and share it with the rest of the group next week. Um, and third place in our first lady was Kerry Clover, who's had a couple of mentions so far. Uh, she had a great week. Obviously, um, the tutelage of uh, Dave Jackson is uh, working wonders with her as it is with many others in his team um, so well done Dave for skippering your side and thank you to all the captains for your cooperation your help um, in getting a lot of this done there's a lot more admin involved with this than I thought there would be when I first started it up and obviously we'll finish it through to the con its natural conclusion um, and I do appreciate the suggestions and things that we've got for weeks going forward but I, my priority really is to try and make it as easy as I can on myself with, with the administration uh, and trying to be fair, um, if it was just a race, you know, A to B, just whack a load of times in and sort it by time, but trying to get the handicaps to work right and stuff so everyone's got a chance um, is um, it's doable, but it is quite, it is quite, can be quite um, onerous. So the more complicated things become, the more work that is this end, not just for me, but for the people I've got checking runs and stuff as well. It's uh, it's quite good. So thank you for everyone for your cooperation thus far and your help. Um, PB mentions. Uh, Dave Book, 42.32, well done Dave. Jason Clover, 37.37, so uh, both Mr and Mrs Clover did PBs this week, after a good week last week I believe as well. Uh, Simon Courier, 37.11, well done Captain, excellent run from him. Mark Cox, 31.24 PB. Nicholas Stanley we've mentioned already, we've got um, Vicky Smith, 49.40, good running Vicky. Dave Grant, 33.40, good stuff, that's under 7 minute mile in. Joe Hardy got a PB, Robert Boland got a PB, and Carl Savage ran his best five mile time, I believe, as well. So some uh, excellent performances there with both mentioned. Plenty of other good performances because I say the PB is tough, and if you can uh, run a race and you know you can get within a minute or two of your PB, I think in this environment, I think you're doing pretty well. So uh, yeah, well done to anybody mentioned there. Uh, right, what else have we got to mention? We've got the. Uh, Got the team scores. So um, this week, uh, our team winner was uh, Stephanie White's White's Wobblers. Had a very good week, um, and second place was Nikki Bowman's team with they like eight points. And what I would say with these two teams was that every person in the team contributed very positively that there was they weren't carrying anybody i think the other teams for various reasons had one or two people who perhaps were you know dragging the average down for whatever reason and stuff uh, but it's, it's a team game and i think that's why hopefully this handicap system is fair or as fair as i can make it because everybody in those teams those top two teams uh, really really performed and um, so well done to any, anybody who was in uh, steph's team and also in nikki's team and um, that's not said that there weren't any you know good performances in the other teams because there was plenty as it spelt out with this huge list of personal bests. Uh, so in third place we have um, Maggie Savin Barden's team, Chafing the Dream I think they're called. Uh, then it was Hannah Craig's team who have lost their unbeaten, or uh, I say unbeaten run, they've won the first two rounds uh, but still got five points out of this round. Uh, then it was Dave's team, Dave Jackson, then it was Rob Bowen's team, Adam McElhone's team and Gavin's team bringing up the rear, uh, which means the table as it stands at the moment, after three rounds of scoring, we've got uh, Adam at the bottom with five points, then Gavin with eight, then Steph 
hauling herself up into contention now with 13. Um, one point in front of Steph with 14 is Rob Boland's team and Dave Jackson's team. And then you've got three people at the top in second joint second place. You've got Nikki and Maggie's teams with 19 points. And then top still with 25 now is um, Hannah Craig's team. So that's the scores on the doors team-wise. Um, I'll type these all up and circulate them, but i say it'll probably be tomorrow now rather than today. And yeah, everyone keep up the good work. The mile race is the one that's coming up now this week. Some of you have probably, well, I know some of you have done them already because I've had a little nose on Strava and seen what's what. Um, one thing I would say about a mile, I mean, I've not run lots of them, um, probably about five or six or something like that in my life, but um, it, it's a it's a very fast distance. Um, and if you're doing an out and back, I probably wouldn't recommend that because to turn around a hairpin and come back the other way, you're going to lose speed and momentum and you're going to have to, you can make the turn, but you're going to cost yourself time and stuff. And I think really it's just a case of running flat out continuously for, you know, as long as the distance goes. Um, I've always broken it down into sort of like four quarters to make life a little bit easier for myself. First quarter is quite you know, you're pushing hard, but it's quite easy. The second quarter, you have to dig in a little bit. The third quarter's the hardest, and the last quarter's actually quite... It, it's You count it down at the end, because you know it's coming. Uh, that's where you've just got to leave everything out there. Um, the rest of it, you've got to be quite measured, I think. But if you're looking for a course, you can do it out and back, if you want, by all means. It's probably better to do one with a loop in it. So if you can find somewhere fairly flat that's got a bit of a loop, and that you start and finish in the same place, that means you, you've got more speed all the way around. Uh, you can do it point to point. A lot of mile races are point to points, um, so you start in one place, finish in the other. The only thing you just mind of that is just look at the route beforehand and just make sure there's no excess ele um, well, elevation or e either way. Because if you're going up a hill, you're not doing yourself any favours. And if you're running downhill too much, then you're going to get penalised as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, and a, a one or two or well, sorry, one, three or five minute penalty on a one mile race is going to. Uh, make a big difference in percentage terms so that's that um, as ever if you're injured or you're feeling under the weather or something don't run that's fine you won't you know you do yourself you do your teams more harm than good if you go out there you know sort of like 70 percent trying to you know to help the team out you won't you'll hurt the team because your performance will drag the big team average down so if you're not feeling up to it um, give yourself a week off give yourself a rest don't want I don't want people getting injured this is fun uh, it's, it's hopefully going to engage people at a time when things are not you know the best out there at the moment so uh, it gives you something to focus on something to hopefully bond with each other over and whatnot as well and uh, hopefully that will continue uh, going through over the next couple of weeks um, so yeah any other questions just drop us an email or something like that uh, or let your captains know and they'll come back to me and uh, yeah keep up the good work some excellent performances I'm really looking forward to seeing what people can do over a mile and um, yeah, we'll, until, we'll, say, we'll see you um, sometime next week, probably on Sunday, probably at 8 o'clock again, but I'll let you know in the time. Thanks for watching and take care, stay safe. Thanks then, bye.